All right, so we need to change your prep. Hello? Because it's kind of reinforcing yeah. the wrong habit. Uh -huh. So hey, um, I like your intentions, but it's not really, like I said, uh -huh. building the, good, the best habits. Okay. So when you do those weight uh -huh. jumps, you're flattening off. Right. But in order to do a weight jump, don't you have to take off uh -huh. of your heels? Well, yeah. So is that so really it's, kind of... Mm -hmm. It's pointless then. Yeah. yeah. It's reinforcing the wrong edge to take off. Right. Oh, what, well, you should, what you should do... That's on Monday? What would be better is if you did a big approach flattened off and did a one wake jump as soon as you like almost as you're popping you let go of your back end and you land on the center line the prop line with the nose of the board pointed at the boat a little bit on your toe right okay. you do that? so it's kind of like so it's like step three of the tripping team yeah yeah all right yeah i'll, I'll come on but in, even on more detail like I, I like it when riders land on their toes and then try to go back towards their takeoff way Okay. And they're in line. I actually don't know. I'm leaning on, uh, over their toes. Not on a you know, right everything now, can kind of get you over uh, your toes and make that transition. Like switch your edge. Okay, so really switch the edge hard. Uh, Pop. Probably because I already have like momentum. Three don't even think about switching your edge. Probably safer. Just think about accomplishing that type of jump. It's a, yeah. it's an edge, a flat, a one-handed pop, okay. landing parallel with the center line a little bit over your toes, going back towards your takeoff. Yeah, okay. no, I'll come in. And then on your re-entries, yeah. you're kind of doing your re-entries wrong where it's not going to give you the right pop either. Okay. I feel like I'm still on my heels. Uh, George, okay, thanks. It. Right, so we're going to fix that right now. Okay. So what I want you to do is, you're taking somewhat of an approach up the wake, right? Yeah. That's not letting you get over your toes and ollie over your toes. So we're going to take that out for a second. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to go three quarters of the way up the wake and sit there at the top for however long it takes to just get steady and sitting there. And then ollie as far out to the flats as you can. All right. Okay. Go back, find your starting point again, sit three quarters of the way up, get steady, ollie out to the flats again. That's how you're gonna do re-entries for a while until you feel how it's supposed to feel. And then you can start adding the drift up the way. Okay, which okay. one's for center line jumps? Re-entry, let's do re-entry. Okay. And remember, you got to lean in the direction you want to ollie. So once you get to that stopping point three quarters of the way up, lean over your toes and then ollie over your toes out towards the flats. That you just kind of found? Yep. That feel different? Yeah, I think it's 
seat jump. Hey, do you think you could do that pop with that approach, but land in the middle of the waves? So just yeah. just right. combine everything. So right. edge flat and do that re-entry pop, but land in the middle of the waves. Okay. Those last two, did you feel a, a back motion? Like, I want you to land on your toes, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. That's the tripping motion of a tantrum. So, that was right. Okay. So, if you felt this, whoa, that's right. Even oh, though you I didn't land not on. Get it at the top of the weight, too. What's that? Uh, I feel like I'm not getting it at the top of the weight. Yeah, not quite. And that'll happen when your re entries get better, too, you know? Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. but if you feel like a little bit of this off balance falling over your heels a little bit, that's the tripping point. And it's something that you didn't try to make happen, it's something that happened, you know? Right. Yeah. So. so let's next step, practice those a little more, or? Yeah, do a couple more and see if you just, you know, feel what I pointed out. Because yep. you thought it was wrong, but it was actually right. Right. Because we all saw you tipping back and catching yourself. Yeah. And that's right. holding back a back foot. Right. Right? right? So. All right. you're not getting tripped back, right? Try to get back. Yeah. So let let that happen and try to stop it from happening. So but feel a little bit of it. Okay. So like you should you should get tripped and be like ah, ah and then catch yourself and land in the middle. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. If your shoulders don't pitch back, it wasn't a good one. You know what I mean? All right. 